Hello, my name is Dorothy Chia and you're watching my vlog Life of a Piano Teacher, Singapore's first vlog by a piano teacher. And today I'm going to talk about a balanced diet in music. Alright, just like um, in our eating diet, we usually advocate a balanced diet that consists of um, all the food groups in the in the um, pyramid. Okay, so at the bottom and the base is the uh, carbohydrates. So that's your bread and your noodles and your rice. And that is that gives us the energy and sustain all our activities during the day. All right, the next tier up, we have the fruits and the vegetables. So that gives us fiber and uh, water and it keeps our body uh, functioning. So further up are the uh, proteins okay so you have the uh, milk the uh, um, eggs and meats and that's that gives us the um, necessary protein that to build muscles and uh, all that and further up lastly we have the oils and the sugar you need a small amount of that but not a whole lot all right so that would be the uh, prescribed uh, diet that keeps our body healthy. So likewise, when we teach piano, I highly advocate to all my students that they should also have a balanced diet in their music learning. All right, uh, and this is, in my opinion, yeah, a similar um, group that we can think of in the music that we are covering on a weekly basis. So at the bottom, I put the foundation would be um, your technique, yeah? So how you curved your fingers, how you use your five fingers. So right from the start, skills, Hennen, finger exercises, and then later on, your studies, and how you're using the studies to build up your technique as you go up the different levels, playing levels. Okay, so having the technique really forms the bedrock and foundation of all your playing skills. Then the next tier up is the repertoire. All right, so repertoire includes uh, different types of music that you play, and from there also you need a balanced diet. Uh, of course, um, here I put classical because I am classically trained. But you could also throw in your tutor books, the method books, right? Some selection of pop songs, some selection of jazz, so that you have a balanced diet of different types of music in your piano learning. All right, and lastly, at the top of the pyramid, which forms a, a small amount, is uh, the exam pieces. So if you're going for your APRSM exam, the three pieces that is representative of your current playing ability. Now, um, what seems to be um, the trend is for students to spend months and months and years even, let's say if they are preparing for a competition, and usually competition, you might need maybe two contrasting pieces and uh, so in their two pieces, they will take um, the whole lesson and at the expense of a balanced diet. So can you imagine having two pieces and the same two pieces will be working on them for maybe a minimum of two, three years, okay? Or we also have students out there who are uh, mastering um, grades that is too, a little bit beyond them or pieces that is beyond them and so they will then spend um, months of the lesson just preparing those three exam pieces or uh, a particular difficult piece that they're working on and so that really soaks up all the energy to work on that very difficult piece that they are um, planning to play for either an exam or a competition Okay, to me, I think it should be the other way around. Work on your skills, your playing ability, your repertoire, and then from there, out of wherever you are, choose the pieces that best showcase your playing ability. 
whether it's for competitions or it's for the grade that you're entering for in the exam. Uh, I'm also going to showcase some of um, what my students and what they are playing at their lesson. I am Tia I am six years old. These are the books I am playing. Piano Star One. Le lesson Book 1D. Performance Book 1D. In piano, you should at least have a lesson book, a recital book, a book to train your fingers or something, and an exam pieces. Mm. It, it's not advisable to have one book as you would like, let's say you're eating spinach every day, it's not going to be very healthy. You should have a great selection of books, like you should have a great selection of books. Okay, that's all for this week. I hope you have um, enjoyed my vlog. Do subscribe, share, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.